I've been using iPadOS 26 ever since it was first released with Beta 1, and I can honestly say that it's the biggest step forward for the iPad since the introduction of Stage Manager. And if you've been subscribed to my channel for a while, then you probably know I replaced my MacBook with the M4 iPad Pro, and there's always this constant iPad versus Mac debate because people till this day truly believe that you can't be productive on an iPad. But let me tell you this, if you've ever thought about ditching your MacBook for an iPad, then iPadOS 26 might just be the update that makes it possible. So in today's video, I'm diving deep into the new features of iPadOS 26 from the multitasking upgrades to the UI enhancements and beyond. And I'll share how these changes will supercharge your productivity and take it next level. First, I want to kick the list off with folders in the dock. One of the features I always wanted Apple to bring to the iPad was to allow us to pin files and documents in our home screen so that you can easily access them from any app and not constantly have to look for your files app. Yeah, you can have a widget for files, right? But you can't really maneuver it the way you really want. And boy, did Apple deliver and actually took my wish and took it next level by allowing you to add folders in the dock. So finally, you can add folders with documents, downloads, or project files right to the dock, just like on a Mac. This makes jumping into ongoing projects effortless, and I've been using this every day to get quick access to my scripts folder, contract templates, and research documents. Now, speaking of files, this leads me to the next feature, a supercharged files app. Each year when WWDC comes around, a lot of Apple fans are disappointed with the files app because what they really want is Finder from the Mac to be ported over to the iPad. But to be honest, files now feels ever so similar to Finder. You see, Apple has completely reworked the Files app. Now you get an updated list view with resizable columns, just like Finder on macOS, plus collapsible folders so you can keep things tidy. And one of my favorite touches is making it more personalized. So you can now add colors and icons to folders, making it so much easier to visually separate your projects. You can even set default apps for opening specific file types. So for example, all your PDFs can open automatically in the new preview app which is the next big productivity feature that I'm gonna talk about. The new preview app on iPadOS 26 is a total productivity boost. It's one of the Mac apps I always wanted on the iPad because it's the best PDF organization tool. I always had to rely on third-party PDF editing tools, but now thankfully with preview, you can open, edit, and mark a PDFs or images seamlessly and it's optimized for the Apple Pencil. So signing documents, taking handwritten notes, or quickly adding annotations has never been smoother or more accurate. I've been using this for almost every day to sign contracts or leave comments on design mockups, and it works really well. Now let's talk about background tasks. After years of frustration, iPadOS 26 finally brings true background tasks. This means you can export videos, download massive files, or sync your cloud folders without being stuck in a single application. Over the past few weeks, I've exported large 4K video projects while researching things in Safari or editing thumbnails in Canva, and it all works flawlessly. It's a small feature that makes a big difference. Now, speaking of big differences, now let's talk about perhaps one of the biggest new productivity features where you can forget about juggling stage manager, split view, or slide over because iPadOS 26 introduces a completely revamped windowing system where you can now open multiple windows, freely resize them, and arrange them anywhere on the screen just like you would on a Mac. It's intuitive, powerful, and lets you finally set up the multitasking workspace that you want. Now, I know a lot of people in my comments section have been a little upset about losing split view, but technically you still have that. It's just operated differently through the user interface. And that leads me to the next thing, the traffic light icons. Yes, those iconic traffic light window buttons are here straight from the Mac. Red, yellow, and green circles let you close, minimize, or maximize windows like you do on a Mac. The green one is actually my personal favorite because when you hold on to it, it allows the software to automatically organize the apps on your screen in separate windows versus you manually doing it, and it gives you a lot of options. So for example, individuals who like split view can open up the apps of their choice, hit the green button, and have them split equally on the screen, and then you can take the drag bar and size them how you want. This small detail makes the iPad feel instantly more familiar to anyone coming from macOS and 
and gives you a level of window control that we've never had before on an iPad. Lastly, let's talk about one of the biggest surprises that I honestly was not expecting this year, and that's the new menu bar. So just like on a Mac, the menu bar runs along the top of the screen, giving you quick access to app-specific menus, controls, and settings. Now, unlike a Mac, the menu bar is not static, meaning it's not always present. It's only when you hover over the top of the screen where the menu bar shows up. After using iPadOS 26 and the menu bar for almost a month now, I'm so glad it's here. You see, I no longer have to go through different settings within apps to find certain tools or controls, and nor do I have to rely on the magic keyboard and bringing up shortcuts to show me certain functions because now everything is right there on the menu bar. This really speeds up my workflow and makes me more efficient. So after using iPadOS 26 for quite a few weeks now, I can officially say that it is transforming the way I work on my iPad. The combination of the new multitasking system, real background tasks, folder in the dock, and the new menu bar with traffic light buttons make the iPad feel like a real computer. Well, it was always a computer, but what I really mean is that now it feels like a true replacement to the Mac. And I'll still say it's not a Mac replacement for everybody. There's still a lot of programs and software that are Mac exclusive, but like I keep saying, for most people, this might be the ultimate tool. But I wanna know what you think. Do you see yourself using an iPad as your main computer now that iPad 26 is here? Or are there still deal breakers for you? Drop a comment below and let's chat about it. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more iPad and Apple updates, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.